Hey guys, it's the Squishy Monster and today we're going to make homemade green bean casserole from scratch. We don't need a can opener for this and if you've never had it from scratch, you're missing out and you're in for a treat today. I'm choosing to use cremini or baby bella, but you can use button if you can't find them or if they're more expensive. I have some onions and garlic I'm going to caramelize and then I'm using frozen green beans because they're so much more patient, um, you know, and they wait around and they don't rush me along and they don't go bad. I have some butter and some flour, some bacon that's going to impart such nice smoky flavor to the whole thing, some spicy pepper jack cheese, full fat milk, and that's it. So now I just have my bacon and my garlic and my onion, and the bacon and the onion will act as sort of a bed for the garlic so it doesn't burn, but still be mindful, you want to move it around. And I have salt and pepper just a little bit. You want to salt and pepper each layer. And I know you're supposed to use white pepper, but like I always say, use what you've got. And I want to use the rendered fat from the bacon to caramelize the onions. So cook them off until they get nice and golden brown. When everything starts looking crispy and golden brown, you want to slide in your mushrooms. And I know it looks like a lot, but it'll shrink down. And it's traditionally studded with a lot of mushrooms. And I love mushrooms in a creamy, cheesy sauce. What's there not to like about that? So using some of that leftover fat that's been rendered, you want to mix and toss your mushrooms with it. And if it looks a little dry, just don't worry. Just put in another pat of butter. All I've done here is just on my bed of green beans, I've just scattered a little bit of fried onions. And I will also post a recipe on my blog about how to make your own onion strings. On top of that, I want to scatter my bacon and my caramelized onions and garlic bits with the mushrooms. And using the same pan, I'm going to make my bechamel cheese sauce. When your butter is nicely melted, you want to sprinkle in your flour. And taking a whisk, it's very important to whisk this very thoroughly. You want to cook out that raw flour taste. Then you want to slowly start pouring in your milk and whisk and pour in your milk, which is very important here. When it starts bubbling away ever so gently on the top surface like this and it's thickened, take the back of your spoon and you can kind of test it. See how thick that is? I want to give it another whisk and make sure it is salt and pepper. And I know you're supposed to use white pepper, but use what you've got, people. I'm going to slide in my cheese. Toss that in there. It's going to be a nice, thick, cheesy sauce to pour over your green beans, your onions, your caramelized onions, and your nice, delicious mushrooms and garlic. I am so excited. This will come together very, very quickly. Turn off the heat. Mix it together. I'm going to come over here and slide it over my veggies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> This is why I love cooking. It's just, even before you've eaten it, it, it's such a rewarding experience. The smells and how it looks, it's like art in a casserole dish. And then when it's baked off, I'm going to sprinkle with even more fried onions. It's going to be unbelievable. So all that work to make your familiar traditional uh, green bean casserole is going to pay off when you taste this. I bet you there's so many different layers of flavors going on that it's going to be spectacular. I'm going in for a bite. Get my little plate of goodness. I want to get a green bean, a fried onion, a mushroom, little bits of onion and garlic. <laughs> it's a very awkward thing to eat, huh? Mm-hmm. The green beans still have a little bit of a bite. And speaking of bite, that creamy pepper jack cheese is just so heavenly. It's kind of unexpected, but a really nice, delicious kick. I hope you guys give this a try. This was the Squishy Monster, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!